So with American Horror Story Apocalypse only having two more episodes this season, I've covered in other videos how I'd like to see it continue, but if it's going to end, can it end well? Let's talk about it. Hey YouTubers, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. Enjoy the video. That's right guys, today we're going to be talking about Season 8 of American Horror Story, American Horror Story Apocalypse. We only have two more episodes of the 10 episode run this season. And I think it's important now to talk about, more than ever really, of whether or not this show can end in a satisfying way. Because it looks like episode 9 of this season, entitled Fire and Rain, is actually just another flashback episode. Now, I have been praising over the last couple weeks all of these flashback episodes. I like the fact that we went back to Murder House, we saw some of the classic characters of this television series, the people we started with. And we even have gone back and explored the coven to the point where I've even declared Apocalypse just to be Coven Season 2.0, which is great because if you ask the majority of the American Horror Story fan base, they would tell you that Coven was the one with the biggest world building possibilities. And if there was going to be a sequel in a season, it had to have been Coven. I feel like the showrunners know that at this point, it's one of the reasons we're getting so many flashbacks. But I have to ask, you know, with only two episodes left, and the fact that we're still in these flashback episodes, when are we going to get back to those first three episodes? How are we going to wrap up all of these stories if it's not going to have a continuation? And part of me is just feeling like we're not going to. The last episode of this season is going to be a hodgepodge of different things as we set up how Michael is defeated by the Coven Witches super quickly, maybe through the help of some of the murder house ghosts because those people are also coming back to the final. And then it's going to take within the last half or even just the last 10 minutes, wrap up the entire story using Timothy and Emily, maybe even throwing in some alien connections as I've been speculating this entire time. But I fear that it's not going to feel like a genuine conclusion. But I feel like we're not going to actually have earned that last fight and Michael's defeat after so much buildup. And it's actually something that I hope doesn't happen. But if I had to speculate on what's going to happen over the next two episodes, this new episode is going to be another flashback episode. Maybe by the end of it, we are back to the events of the first three episodes. And because if you remember, the third episode of this season specifically name dropped Halloween as the night that they were going to have their party and everyone died from eating the apples. And that is the actual episode where the witches came back and we got into all of these flashback episodes. The reason I think this is going to feel rushed is they've decided because it's a coven and murder house story, you have to somehow bring in the murder house ghosts. If you remember back in murder house, all the ghosts in general can leave the house or just basically walk around at night on Halloween. That's why it's been set on Halloween. That's why we jumped right into these flashback episodes. And I think that's one of the reasons they've been dangling that carrot in front of our faces this entire season they don't have a whole lot of time to tell that story because they needed to wait to Halloween to actually take out Michael. As I've already speculated in other videos, I believe that Michael will be taken out by Tate, maybe even Cordelia, just anyone who's actually come up against him this entire season. Because it's possible, even though a lot of people seem to disagree, that the witches who came to him on Halloween night are actually dead themselves. He's going to be taken out not by mortal man, but by the ghosts of the people that he's burned in the past. So I think that's possible. I feel like that's one of the reasons that we're getting so many flashback episodes. We're not jumping back and forth from what happened during the apocalypse to basically how all the other things are playing out in the flashbacks. So what are your thoughts on this, guys? Do you think it's going to be a rushed season finale? Do you feel like it's going to be satisfying after waiting this entire season for more apocalypse stories? Do you even think that if it's rushed, it's actually going to live up to its name of American Horror Story Apocalypse? I mean, we only got, if I'm right, four episodes in a 10 episode season that vaguely took place during the apocalypse. And we didn't get to explore it very much and we didn't really get to see how everything you know, connected in such a way. We didn't actually get to see the horrors of what an apocalyptic world could be like because they spent too much time building to the apocalypse instead of exploring it. I'm fine with that. I think this has been a strong season, even if it has a weak finale. And I think that they have a lot of things to cover. It's just going to, it's going to feel rushed. Not that it will be weak. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to hear everybody's opinions on this. Do you think it's going to be a good thing or bad thing? Do you think it really should continue into next season? 
I mean, odds are it won't, but I think that would be really interesting and just a new turn or twist for this season or this show that we've never really seen before. Something that I feel would build hype for season nine. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. And heck, guys, go down to the description section below and go follow me on Twitter because it's always easier to talk to me on there. Sometimes YouTube is just really bad about notifying people about comments and notifications for replies to comments and everything else like that. So, so I feel like sometimes it's harder to talk to you on YouTube. So if you wanna to talk to me quicker and easier and get faster replies, then definitely go follow me on Twitter. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. It's been real.